Let's talk intermittent fasting. So I just did a brief TikTok on this, but I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail here. I get lots of questions about this, lots of questions about my thoughts. Is it good, is it bad? So I figured the best thing to do would be to reference some research in order to discuss it, right? So this research study was actually done by the German Cancer Research Center and Heidelberg University. It is actually the largest study done in intermittent fasting to date, and this was published in 2018. So yes, maybe there's something that's been done in the past two years, but I personally couldn't find it, and I looked. <laughs> that was bigger than this study, I mean. Uh, and so what it was, it was 150 individuals who were considered overweight or obese. They, of course, had a control group, and then they had another group that was doing what's considered a quote-unquote conventional diet, meaning that they decreased their calories by 20%, so had them eating in a 20% calorie deficit. And then, of course, there was the intermittent fasting group. And they followed these people for actually a full year, but the dieting phase was two weeks of that year, and then they followed up with them afterwards. And actually what they found, shockingly, was no difference between the conventional diet group and the intermittent fasting group. So what they said is, I'll just read it, both dieting groups lost the same amount of body weight, visceral fat, and hepatic fat. Hepatic is liver. And they found no difference in other metabolic values, biomarkers, or gene activities. So there was no difference between the conventional diet group and the intermittent fasting group, which is really interesting because what I find people are hearing or reading or seeing is that intermittent fasting is the end all be all. It's so much better than everything else and it's gonna fix everything. But in this study, which again was one of the biggest studies done, they found no difference between this and a conventional diet. So I thought that was really interesting. The other thing that I've learned about intermittent fasting recently was actually from a physician talking about how your gut responds to intermittent fasting. So what she was saying is there's something in your gut called the migrating motor complex. And what that is is basically what she considered the cleanup crew of your gut. So after a meal, it kind of sweeps through your gut and then creates stool, right? And it takes about two to three hours for that migrating motor complex to function appropriately. And so it takes that long for it to get through and for you to kind of be ready, if you will, for your next meal. And what she said is when people are specifically doing this 16 and eight version of intermittent fasting, when you're trying to cram all of that food into eight hours, you're really not giving that migrating motor complex enough time to function efficiently. And what she's actually seen is that a lot of people are experiencing GI discomfort, meaning like really bad constipation or bloating or gas, etc., as a result of these fasting and eating windows. So all of that to say, based on the research, I haven't really seen anything that I'm like, oh yeah, this is the thing. And remember, there usually is no thing. I think one of the big issues with some of these trends is that people are promoting it as it's gonna work for everybody. But as you know, at the Comp Clinic, we think it's very important to remember that each body is unique. That's why we use the metabolic test and body composition analysis so that we can really figure out what works specifically for you and not just some general thing that is quote unquote supposed to work for everybody. So do your research. I just read this to you and we will put some of the uh, resources in the comments.